In the last episode, I camped with a bionic biker next to a smoke-filled lake outside of Salmon, Idaho. After the bionic biker headed out on his own adventure, I headed south out of Salmon down the Sawtooth Mountain Range and found a beautiful campsite on the side of the Salmon River just outside a little town known as Stanley, Idaho. So I found this very cool public camping area. It's not a campground, it's a camping area, so it's free, but it's about a mile, less than a mile from $20 camping, public campgrounds. It's a paved road um, and vault toilets. This has just got a nasty rutted out road, but it's very cool. It's right on the river. It's overlooking the Sawtooth Mountains over here, about two or three miles south of uh, Stanley, Idaho. It's a beautiful area and hopefully it's got internet but i want to show you the campground so check it out creek back here they keep calling the salmon river river really that ain't no river i'm still out here looking for that hot european babe riding around in her motorcycle i think she's over them mountains there we're just in idaho where they make them french fried potatoes and if i catch up to her i'm gonna ask her for an autograph and a kiss too well let me get back at it. If you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button. I got three more months on the road. Lots of stuff to see and do. Maybe I'll even run into Miss Itchy Boo. Woo wee! Maybe get me an autograph and a kiss. Woo wee! All right, here's the dilemma. One that I'm suffering from right now. Um, I'm sitting at a camp that should be pretty doggone close to Nirvana but yet I'm finding all these flaws with it. I'm right on the water. Yes, that's the Salmon River. It's beautiful. And it's cold. I've got cold-ish beer in the cooler because I, I don't have any ice. So I dipped out some water from the salmon, put it in my uh, cooler. And the beer's cold enough. I mean, I'm, I've had four of them. It must, they must not be that bad. I'm three miles from town and supplies and internet and the weather is pretty spectacular. It looks gloomy and awful 
but it comes and goes. It's bright and sunshiny and 85 degrees in the, the sunlight. You step into the shade, it's 75, but right now it's 75, period. So it gets down to 45 degrees. So I'm sitting here wondering, what's the problem with my Nirvana? Why is it this some spectacular spot that's, you know, it's free camping. It's a mile away from $20 a night camping. Less than a mile away. Ranger Station is right across the street. I could go over there and get power if I wanted to. I did last night. Um, edited some videos. Went into town. Internet's okay. It's a cute little town. Um, I've been through Stanley several times. I just never stopped to, to do anything other than get gas and maybe get some supplies. But I guess that's where the beef starts is you know seven dollar carton of eggs uh beers beard never changes beer is i guess they decided that they can't sell beer more for, for more than you know what everybody else does so beer is always the same price um alcohol is typically the same price and then i'm thinking what else is the same price nothing else is the same price everything else is twice as much here so um and then this is still a campground. It's a camping area. It's not a campground, so it's not paid camping, but it's it's a spot where there's a lot of campers. My nearest neighbors are 150 yards away, and they're very quiet. Don't even know them. But then I got other people walking through. I got fishermen walking through yesterday, and I, I've never really understood that. It's like, can't you find another place to, to fish other than a freaking campground? Anyway, just thought that was weird. And there's noises. But yeah, just sitting here thinking, okay, well, where's my Nirvana? I have to go way the hell out in the woods where nobody else is, and that takes away from the Nirvana in, in itself. You know, I got to go get supplies. It's 60 miles round trip. It's an hour. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my Nirvana really should be in the middle of the Magruder Corridor, 60 miles into to the middle one way so it's 120 miles round trip yeah that's that's really my nirvana but man you're so isolated and desolate out there i don't know so yeah i just started thinking what's wrong with my nirvana is it broken how's your nirvana doing i hope i hope your nirvana is doing fine oh here we go we got a hiker coming in right here with her dog she's gonna see me she's gonna turn around because i'm a <laughs> scary biker boom she probably she probably turned around before i even said that it's so funny oh my gosh dirty biker dirty hairy biker it's either that or she saw my camera no nope, everybody does the same thing let's see if i can get down to the river maybe the river is different over here <laughs> it's really funny it's really funny maybe Maybe the diff maybe there's a different river over here. If I just go down here. Uh, dog people, how bad can they be? She's walking her dog. How bad can she be? And she's got a nice outfit on. Yep, but the folks are moving in, which means I'm probably moving out in the morning. It's uh, Friday tomorrow, so probably have some more people coming in tonight. And then a whole lot of people coming in tomorrow night. I'm like, it's just not my Nirvana. It's been acting like it wanted to rain for maybe an hour or more. Sprinkled for 30 minutes. And now it's actually... It's actually kind of raining now. Who would have thought? It's times like these that I really feel sorry for ground dwellers. I mean, it's like, where are you going to go? Everywhere you look is covered in mud and mud. How are you gonna get out of your tent? <laughs> Everything you have is covered in freaking, I mean. Well, now that's a cool shot right after the storm. Lots of contrast after the sun finally came out. So you get the dark shadows in here from the mountain. You get the sun shining through just under the clouds finally, and then you get those dark clouds back behind. It's really, really interesting. 
And of course, all that rain has made the clarity of the water go away. Almost like somebody poured a bunch of milk in there. Not sure if you can see that rainbow, but it's pretty cool. nights on the salmon just south of Stanley Idaho I don't have internet so I'm moving south almost a full tank of gas I got lots of miles to go before I sleep 